Hey everybody, you're probably tuning in going, what's this big ass box that's sitting on this desk? Well, one of our viewers decided that they were going to buy a Bowie Range 850 off Amazon and have it shipped straight to me. And they asked me to do a review of the amplifiers that comes out of the box and then look at doing modifications similar to what I did to my 300B amp and then documenting the whole process, listening to the amp and just giving you all a whole feedback on what this thing's like out of the box and then what it's like after it's been modified and then I'm going to ship it to him when I'm done with it. So thank you so much for sending this amp to me and trusting me with it. But uh, I promise you, you're going to get something back awesome. So here's the box that came from Amazon. It was in a, it was in another cardboard box, you know, the Amazon kind of box. It had a little bit of damage on the corner of the box here, but I don't think that's, you know, there, it looks like there may be a box inside here. So we're going to do a little unboxing here and let y'all see what's what's inside this thing. So a little bit of tape. It's got fragile stickers all over it which obviously somebody wasn't super careful with it but let's hope there's nothing damaged inside and then it looks like there's a box inside this box so let's I think I'm gonna turn it over and it's real heavy so let's, let's turn it over so we can slide this box off the top of this other box. And then we'll turn it back over. Okay. And they put these little plastic things in the corner to help protect it. And so I'm going to flip it back over. And let's see what's inside this thing. Looks like it's got a couple of instruction sheets showing you the big and small pins on the tubes and showing you how the tubes go in the sockets. I'll look at this more closely later and shows you about how to, you don't want to break the tubes. So I'm going to read through all these instructions before I you know, power the thing up. It's got another little instruction book here. It's got a schematic. It says, please don't share it on the web. Well, it's too late for that, guys. That ship sailed a long time ago. And then it looks like we really should probably do the same thing of Flipping the box over and then lifting the box off. And then we'll turn it back over again. And got a lot of a lot of styrofoam on it so it is packed really well I mean I'm obviously given there's tubes and stuff in here they would need to have it packed well so it doesn't get damaged and I want to save all this packing material for when I ship it back to the owner so and here it comes out of its not real easy to get this this wrapping off of it. Looks like here's some some of the tubes. And they they kind of got the cord wrapped up in here weird. Let me cut that. 
And then here's the power cord. More tubes. And then looks like they've got the cage kind of cellophane material holding it down. And okay, it's on little pegs where it slides out. And there's the amp. Let me get Okay, and then here's our power cord. Note that it's just a normal power cord. We don't have some fancy $300 power cord in here. And first impressions, it this is a nice looking amp. It's got, looks like potted output transformers. It's got a lay down output tra uh, power transformer, which I like that style of power transformer. And as you can see, it's got some VU meters on the front. It's got gold tone with the chrome and the and the silver little feet on the corners. Looks like it's got little rubber feet on there. And then on the bottom, it's got a ventilated cover over the bottom of it, which we're going to be digging around inside there, I'm sure, pretty soon. Let's see what kind of tubes this thing comes with out of the box looks like a PS vein 300B and then we've got looks like all the tubes are PS vein I guess these are let's see if it says on them these should be the I'm guessing these are probably the 6S and 7s And these look like some, these are six, six NP something, it's hard to read. I'll get a magnifying glass and look at that, that later, but I'm assuming that these are our driver tubes. And let's get the other one of these out. Six N eight P, and they've got the little China star on them. I don't know how well you can see that, but these aren't—they're in PS vein boxes, but they're—they don't say PS vein on the tubes, so I'm not sure if they're actually PS vein tubes or if they're—we're just putting PS vein boxes. Hard to say. And then, I'm assuming this must be the rectifier tube. It's in a bigger box. They probably got a, maybe one of these Coke bottle shaped rectifier tubes to make it look fancy. Yep. And it's a 5Z3PA. I have to look that up. I've never, never heard of that. It's, it's got kind of small pins for a rectifier tube. That's interesting. And they've got, they've got the larger tubes are recessed into um, sockets. And these look plastic. These, um, the 300B tubes are obviously porcelain. Or ceramic material and then here's the other 300 B tube let's see what these look like let me throw some of this trash off the table so you all can get a better look at it and let's open these tubes up and they do have a lot of styrofoam, and like these are, these are like got a lot of padding around them. 
I mean, they did they did box this thing up well for, you know, it's just well protected. And these do say, uh, these are just your plain PS vein tubes that don't have the coating in them. And there's one of them. And they have them where the PS Vane logo face, whoa, faces forward on the, um, so you can read the lettering on the tubes. Which I'm not sure if they have the, it is, looks like they're using circuit boards for the 300Bs. And then here's your other 300B tube. And there's what the amplifier looks like. And it does come with it does come with a cage. And it looks like there's some adjustment on these little cage pins so you can so you can get it sitting level. I'm gonna go ahead and screw them in and pop the cage on it so you can see what it looks like with that install and there we go here's what it here's what it looks like out of the box and it's a pretty nice looking amp on the back it has inputs for a tape CD and auxiliary and then it's got uh, four and eight four and eight ohm taps on the back which will give us the opportunity to play around with you know the impedance of the output transformers to the tubes which is nice to have you know an option for that i mean i would probably personally be running it like this but i don't have any kids or anybody that would touch the tubes and so i don't have to worry about somebody getting burned and i think it just looks a lot nicer with the tubes exposed so anyway this is a start of next adventure i'm planning on actually going to jump into this next i know i told you guys i was going to be working on the preamp but i feel like since somebody was nice enough to send me this right at a thousand dollar amplifier that i should probably prioritize this project and i have a pretty good idea from seeing this schematic before and listening to what other people who have tested this have said about it um, technically and so I'm expecting you know the same low wattage clipping that I'm seeing that because it's a tube amp it may still sound fairly decent to a lot of people but I think there's a lot more to be had here with some pretty simple modifications I told the uh, person that mailed me this I wasn't I wasn't really planning on going as far as replacing output transformers or anything. I want to see what can be done with this amp with a minimum amount of money spent on parts, you know, like some resistors, some wires, maybe some coupling caps, and not go crazy from there. But I've also got different rectifier tubes, and I've got two different kinds of, i got some electroharmonic and some... Um, of the uh, treasure coated 300B tubes. I've got a, about a dozen different pairs of 6S and 7 tubes that we can roll into this and try to see what's possible to do with this amp without spending a ton of money and then see how close it comes to the amp that I built. Um, my amp, the parts were about $100 cheaper than what this amp costs. I have a feeling this is going to have the same issue that a lot of these made in China amps have, that the output transformer has 110 volt wound primaries. And so we're going to be having to do a bucking transformer or something, but I'm going to measure the heater voltages and see if that's really an issue. And I think this is going to be a really fun project. And again, thank you so much to the viewer that mailed me this. And I'm going to really, I hope, make a really fun video series 
out of this. So thanks for tuning in. Again, this is the first video in this series. Hope you will subscribe to my channel, like the video so you can get notified as we upload new videos to this fun new series. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.